Rodgers looking, looking, throws, Parkinson! Give it to me again! His fourth touchdown of the game! Choosing Stanford, I knew that I, mean, I would have the option to, to study whatever I wanted. And not only do I have the option, but I'm also getting the top tier education in the country. I mean, so many schools, you show up the first day, and they, they hand you your schedule, they hand you your tutors and the people that are going to help you out. Um, but here you're really able to explore whatever you want to do, and that's, that's pretty great. I'm really excited about the fact that I can study a, a major like civil engineering, uh, focusing in structural and also getting a minor in architecture. I had an internship a couple years back uh, with an architecture firm, and I found it was, it was pretty interesting. There's some types, some kind of lapse in connection between the structural engineers and the architects. The structural engineers want to just make sure it's structurally sound and not, don't necessarily have the same creative minds as the architects. And I think that's something that I could try to bridge the gap with by getting this minor. So I'm in this independent study class uh, for my minor in architecture. I was working with the head of the architectural design program. He'll give you two different projects to work on throughout the course of the quarter. One of them that he's never given a student before, which is pretty fun uh, to explore. It's pretty much work at your own pace. One of the projects was a, how do I describe it? It's basically this rectangular prism that uh, I had to fit certain solids into. Um, like think of like a rectangular, bo a smaller rectangular box that I had to fit inside, as well as different void spaces. So just imagine like a triangular prism that's empty that I had to put through the box and uh, somehow fit it all inside this box and create uh, some type of design so and cool, right? theory behind it, being able to explain why I did certain things. And it was pretty cool. Uh, it ended up making a really cool shadow once you put light through it because um, I made it that cool. you can see through the top and then there's different pieces that interacted. I designed the whole thing in a computer program called Rhino and then laser cut it, uh, which was pretty awesome, fun to do. And then we'll create my triangular pieces. And then I'm pretty much good to go. The mindset I have in football has helped me so much more in my academic life and the rest of my, I mean, everything that I do every day. The, the attitude that you have uh, and football carries on, I mean, whether that be your mental uh, focus in games and approaching your schoolwork and stuff like that, or just uh, making sure you're being prepared and uh, doing stuff proactively, um, that attitude definitely carries on into schoolwork. Hey, right, last real seven there, boys, let's go, let's get after it. Grind on three, one, two, three. Right. My brother studied structural engineering, and just in conversations with him, I uh, really enjoyed what he was talking about, really thought what he was doing was pretty interesting. And then growing up, I've always been, uh, my dad's always made my brother and I be hands-on with whatever type of uh, projects we're doing around the house. And it's pretty awesome that I'm able to, to put that into a major.